What's going on everybody? Welcome to Maverick Performance Golf. Today we're here with Aaron Adair from 1611 Sports, one of the instructors here. And we're gonna have some fun because we are testing the Homna TR200 460cc driver on the TrackMan. What are your first thoughts of looking at that, Aaron? It's a good looking club, I like the head. Um, head's a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm really excited about that vintage shaft that's in it. Yes. Um, the kind of cool stuff at the top, the way they move some things around. They've got three different weights in it. Looks good, feels good, sets up nice. Looks like it has a little bit of loft to it, but not too bad. It's probably a little deeper um, laterally than I probably would prefer, but I know that there's a slightly smaller version. I believe it's yeah, a four, 440. 440 cc. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get our hands on that one today, but uh, we're gonna hit this a few times. We are gonna compare this against our both of our current gamers, mm -hmm. uh, which for you, what are you currently playing? Uh, right now I've got the Maverick Sub-Zero and I've got a Hazardous Black shaft in it. Um, it's a 70X. Perfect. And then I'm playing the TaylorMade Sim with the Tour AD uh, X. It is tipped about a half inch uh, with the I mean, it was 68 grams. So right let's, on, let's see it. put them up there and see what it goes. So we're gonna hit five of each of our gamers just to kind of get a baseline of what we're doing. Um, and we're gonna hit the Honda. Okay. Swing. A little cutty. Yeah, but. Much. Still the fairway. Fairway finder. You gotta hit the old fairway <laughs> finder. Let's see if we can keep those dispersions all over the place and move it the other way. Uh oh. Yeah, it was just like for some reason it didn't. One hundo. I don't know about that. <laughs> Whew. All right. All right, Homna TR20, is that how they're calling it? 2460. 460. So this is set up with a 9.5 with a Venice Black, Venice Black 6X, not tipped or anything. Heard good things about the shaft. Yeah, it's supposed to be, supposed to be a real good launch. Is that up a little close to you? It should be, it's set neutral at open. Is it? And he said that open is what they've kind of seen, is what Robbie was saying, that they've kind of seen as more of a square setup. Gotcha, so and standard would be a little shut. Standard would be, and he, okay. said that the, he said the open is taking a little loft off of it, and when you set it up closed, it's adding some loft okay. to it. And just so you guys know, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna hit a few shots, kind of just blurt whatever comes out of my head or from the feel of it, and I'm gonna hand it off to Aaron. He's gonna hit a few shots. We're gonna go back and forth like that a little bit till we both get to 10, so. Whole lot of clicking on the computer over there, yep. but it's hard to talk about something that hey, if you haven't hit it yet. <coughs> Run roll. Oh God, please don't go left. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Hmm. Holy. I'm not gonna lie, that felt pretty good. You feel pretty good? It's like two miles faster. It feels very similar to the TaylorMade Sim. sim. It's, like a cross between like a Titleist and a Sim. Kind of had that that dead feeling, but the yeah. sound sounded a little more sound. like the Callaway Titleist. Yeah. One more and then you hit it. That was surprisingly good. Sorry, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I healed it. <laughs> and I'll take it, great heal. Yeah. A healed 282 carry. Hmm. Wow. I mean, that was over here. Really? Yep. Wow. Notice he's got the yeah, he's got foresight. Foresight too. <laughs> and. Oh, 
See what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of got that, it's pretty forgiving. Yeah. Which I'm really surprised by. I mean, you're up too. It's deeper than somebody. <laughs> But it, it's kind of got that, like, the ball off the face feels like it, a tailor-made, but the yeah. sound sounds yeah. more like that Callaway Titleist, even ping to a point, where it's got a little tingier of a ping, more of a traditional sound. High right. So now we're out at Whitestone Golf Club. We're gonna hit a few shots outdoors with the Homna TR20, just to kind of get a sound differential from indoors to outdoors, as well as see a full ball flight. Uh, this is a par four, it reaches about 359 yards, and it's probably about 280, 290 to clear that water up there. So let's have at it. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for a review of the Homna TR20 460cc version of this driver. Really impressed with it. You know, it, very surprising. I think it should definitely be in consideration if you're looking at drivers. Um, thing I was most impressed with it was, A, the feel. That's always a hard thing to get when you're, when you're doing drivers. Uh, in addition to that, also the forgivability. I don't even know if that's the right word, but. Sounds good. It's, it's, it's way more forgiving than you would think most of the manufacturers that come out there are a little bit more off the beaten path have a tendency to be. Um, toe to heel misses, really didn't see that much of a dispersion in shots. and yeah, Not too much the, of a speed drop. The most impressive thing too, I was gonna say the speed drop, was it really only dropped off five miles an hour. So yeah. um, really impressed with that. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, we're, I'm Maverick Performance Golf. Um, please check out Aaron over at 1611sports.com is the mm -hmm, website. Correct. And all their social media, we'll link them down below and at the end. Thank you so much for watching, guys.